Hey everyone, Mano back here for another Destiny 2 Ascendant Challenge video guide. This week we're going to be tackling the Keep of Honed Edges Ascendant Challenge. We're going to go ahead and show you on the map where that is. North side of Rhea Silvia. As always, timestamps are located on screen and in the description box below. If you are on mobile and you can't click on the links, don't just post random timestamps. Look at the pinned comment. I've already taken care of it for you. I will go ahead and leave those timestamps in. For some reason, they don't work very well on mobile so that way you are taken care of if you are playing shadow keep if you are staying up to date with things inside of destiny this week is going to see the launch of the final assault of vex offensive so make sure you stop by my channel i'll have a guide for that as soon as i can if you have not joined the Manoverse Discord channel, click that link in the description box below. As always, you should check me out on twitch.tv slash manodestra777 where I help people out with things inside of Destiny 2 Live. That is where I do most of my live streaming. All right back with the Ascendant Challenge. Make sure you pick up the bounty so you don't do this for nothing. Petrovenge is over on the left-hand side as you enter Rhea Sylvia, and we're gonna head to the back side of that cathedral over there. We're gonna go ahead and show you where to go in real time in case if you are wondering. I have a lot of people ask me still, Mano, why do you put up these Ascended Challenge video guides? They don't drop powerful gear anymore. What's the purpose of them? Well, here's the reason why. You can get different roles on armor pieces. Some people have come back to Destiny and now are playing the Forsaken expansions. Maybe you're a new light player. Maybe you are someone who's experiencing this for the first time. I want to make sure that I give you the best opportunity that you can to get good weapon drops. In addition, there are some mods that you can get from this like the transcendent blessing mod uh there are some bounties that you can pick up from doing these ascendant challenges or completing things inside of the ascendant challenges so that's why i keep doing them i think it's a lot of fun too and i always like to help out the community if you do have any questions or anything else like that you have a question on how i'm doing this leave that in the comment section below i do read them and try to respond to them as soon as i possibly can all right, we're going to head past here to this final area over here. You will see a big statue on the outside of the map. That is where you're going to be heading to. You can see that there is already a portal up there. You can see that portal because my character is currently Ascendant. Now, what does that mean? If you don't know what a Tincture of Queen's Foil is, if that's a mystery to you right now, or that maybe you're kind of new to this whole Ascendant Challenge Dreaming City thing, you should click the card in the top right-hand corner where I go in-depth about what the actual tincture of Queen's Foil is, how to get it. Uh, really briefly, what it is, is a consumable inside of the game that allows you to see the Ascendant Challenge portal as well as secrets inside of the Dreaming City. And so it's actually kind of important in this Ascendant Challenge. We'll show you why later. But that area there is where there is a secret vendor where you can go buy it. Again, click that link if you need it. The challenge entrance is up on top of that statue. There are multiple ways to get up there but we're going to show you two of them, uh, the easiest ways to get up there. Um, again, I usually just climb those blights that are right there, but some people have told me that they struggled climbing those blights, so we're going to show you another way to get over there. Again, if you have popped a tincture of queen's foil, that's what it looks like, the secrets inside of the Dreaming City also include ascendant platforms, which will look like this. They are invisible until you get close to them, and then you are able to see them. This basically forms a spiral staircase that will take you all the way over to the portal location. It's very easy to do if you struggle with platforming inside of Destiny 2, just take that way. But if you are comfortable with jumping in Destiny 2 and platforming, um, I actually just jump on the blights and I'm actually gonna go kind of slow so you can see how I do it. I jump on this first blight here. There's a rock which is right next to one of the corrupted eggs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on there for a second. And again, I usually go really fast to get through this, but I wanna show you how to actually get there. there there is going to be a blind jump around here with a tiny little blight that we're going to hop on top of and then you'll be able to hop into the portal very easily. As you enter into the Keep of Honed Edges, you'll see a gazebo off in the distance, plus Toland beckoning to you to go that way. There are a bunch of rocks that you need to platform over to make your way to the gazebo. Now, this Ascendant Challenge is unique because it's the only Ascendant Challenge where you enter and exit in random locations. So you may get a different experience that you see on screen here. So if it's a little bit different, it's not wrong, okay? So don't be freaked out in this area 
area, look for rotating rocks. Make sure that you don't stand on rotating rocks for too long. Get over to the lit up gazebo as quickly as you can. You'll see three knights plus a bunch of different enemies. You cannot damage the knights with any weapons that you have in your arsenal right now. But what you can do is kill all the enemies in this area and it will unlock a hive sword which you can then use to damage the knights. And that sword is very critical. You must have the sword with you as you exit this Ascended Challenge or else the bounty will not proc. So this sword is kind of the key to everything. Okay, so I'm on my Warlock right now. Very easy to go ahead and pick up. I'm going to use my Warlock Rift. If you are on your Hunter, you can totally pop a Tether and you can actually go to town on these knights and actually it will chain damage to people even if you're using the Hive Sword and those enemies are tethered. There are going to be a number of enemies that are going to spawn in and try and kill you. If that is happening, you need to make sure that you run to cover if you need to. You can see right here, I start to go to about half damage. Um, what I'm going to do is get to cover, take care of a couple of adds, get my life back, try and gather them up here and use my super. Once I use the super, I can do massive damage. Once you kill the three knights, all of the other enemies will disappear and then you can see the exit location. Again, the exit location is randomized. All right, so what you're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and show you where the bones and the eggs are because it's easier to show you right here. What you're gonna look for is you are going to look for where Toland is located. You're going to basically go on the opposite side of where Toland is. And as you do that, and you'll, I'll show you Toland here in a little bit, but what you're gonna do is go off to the opposite side and you will see a glittering object down below. As long as you are still ascendant, you can go ahead and hop to the right hand side of that platform and it will show up an ascendant platform in that area now you may be wondering how the heck do you get back up to the top there are ascendant spiral staircases that bring you back up to where you need to be so just take a second look before you leap you will see them appear for the most part now i was talking about toland go to the opposite side that is where toland is and that is your reference point in fact the only point of reference in this entire ascendant challenge is Toland in that location and that's kind of like a bookmark now if you're wondering about how to get these eggs because I know that this is an ascendant challenge that many people struggle with I do have a longer version of getting the eggs I do it pretty quickly in this video so I'm gonna put that in the top right hand corner uh, with the card the YouTube card right in the top right hand corner in case if you need a longer explanation um, I'm going to shoot one of the eggs very easily um, from the top area, but I've been told from many people that they struggle shooting the egg from the top of one of the gazebos, which you're gonna see here in just a second. Um, I get it. What you can do is you can actually take a completely different other path to get to that first egg. So again, click that video link if you are having issues with that. Quick note, you do not need to have the Wish Ender Bow to complete the challenge. The Wish Ender Bow is only for one thing, shooting the eggs, which are used to collect an exotic sparrow and earn the Curse Breaker title. But you must get the sword to the exit of this Ascendant Challenge. I said it once, I'm gonna say it again, because invariably there's probably gonna be someone who says, man, oh, I, did, I didn't get the bounty. Why didn't I get the bounty? Well, you didn't bring the sword over to the edge. So make sure you pick up the sword, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head again to the opposite side of where Toland is, and we're gonna head to the top of this gazebo. Now, for me, it was very easy for me to see that egg off in the distance. Again, if you are struggling with that first egg, and you're gonna see me struggle a little bit with it too, but I do eventually get it. If you're struggling with it, check out that YouTube video. It is very concise. It's very easy to follow along. I show you three ways that you can actually get that egg. But for me, I was able to get it here by just stepping a little bit farther to the edge. And you can see the egg off in the distance. It's barely there from this spot, but it's basically hidden up on a ledge that's very hard to platform to. But in the video, I do show you how to get it really easily. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the sword because you need the sword for the second one. At least most people do. Titans and some other characters that have some different abilities have some different ways to get it. Now, what we're gonna do is go to the opposite side of where that first egg is. Now, your, your um, exit location might be to the right 
or the left of it. Again, what we're gonna use is Tolan as a reference, but we're also gonna use one other thing that I call Donut Rock. And you may be wondering, what the heck is Donut Rock? We're gonna go ahead and grab the sword. As we head over here in platform, there's going to be a rock with a big hole in the middle of this. I call this Donut Rock, and you can see I'm jumping to it, I'm looking at the hole, it's right there. Off right next to it is a gazebo that kind of looks like it's complete, but it's missing a roof. There may be enemies on it, there may not be, but this is where you need to go. Off in the distance, and you can see it lit up by lightning, there is a mountain that you need to use the sword to swipe there. Again, the other video covers this in detail if you need to see it, but what I do is I use the sword, I use the light swipe for me that is right button or a light melee on my keyboard and I basically just head to the left side of the mountain and that will take you to a ledge that you can use to actually jump up to the rest of the rocks on this mountainous area. You're going to make your way over to the left hand side, take your time and use the sword as a reference and the final egg will be right here in that spot. You can then do multiple things. You can either take the sword from that area there if the exit is in a favorable position, and you can just fly your way over to the edge with your light melee. I've done that many times in other prior Ascendant Challenge videos, um, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second, kill these ads, and kind of bring them over in a slightly different way. Now, I did it for the eggs on my hunter, what I'm going to do is show you now on my Warlock. Again, kind of the same thing. I will have already collected the eggs on this account. So um, if you're struggling with any of these enemies shooting you, having a bow or a sniper rifle is really good in this area, especially if you don't want to die after completing all the other stuff, getting the eggs and things like that. Um, again, you can see the exit over there. Uh, again, the exit might be in a different spot, but basically clear the enemies. Make sure you get the eggs and the bones if you are looking for the Curse Breaker title or anything else like that. But the key thing you must have is you must have the sword with you. I'm going to make my way over here. Again, there is Donut Rock. If I was going to jump over to the uh, if I was going to jump over to the egg location, this is where I would do it. Again, there is the gazebo that looks like it's almost complete, but it's missing a roof. That is an easy way for you to check it out. The sword is safe. I just dropped it on the location there. Don't accidentally leave it on an edge that's tilted either because the sword will slide down since it's an actual object in the game. I've actually had some people lose the sword right as they were going to get to the exit because they set the sword down and killed some eggs uh, or uh, some different enemies. So just be careful of that. We're going to go ahead and show you the mountainous area again on the Warlock. Again, you can see off in the distance. It's barely lit up. It may be hard to see because there's that fake fog. Just just head over just slightly to the left once you see the mountain and again that little area will be lit up and there will be a ledge on the left hand side if you go to the right it's quite difficult to, to get up there so just take a second head to the left it's not too crazy just a quick reminder that if you do lose the sword or if you die you will have to do the ascendant challenge again Quick note that if you do die during the Ascendant Challenge and you've already picked up the sword, you've already killed those knights, you may have to leave the area of Harbinger Seclude and come back. You may have to go into Rhea Sylvia and come back. You can see here where the egg was, but you can see on my Warlock, I've already collected it on this account. The eggs are account specific, not character specific. We're gonna go ahead and get some momentum. I love this part. This is probably my favorite part of this Ascendant Challenge is just being able to use the sword and just fly over there. Again, the portal may be in a different location, but if you're lucky like me, you can just take the sword and swipe all the way over to where the portal is, and that dodges all the enemies as well as all the flying rocks. It's a lot of fun and very easy to do. If you do feel like you're going to go too far, just circle around and slam as long as you make sure you actually hit the ground. The chest will appear. You go ahead and collect your loot. As long as you have the bounty, your Ascendant Challenge is complete. You can take the sword into the Dreaming City and have some fun with that. So with that, that is the Ascendant Challenge. If you are struggling with the eggs, I cannot stress enough that you go look at my other video. I have multiple ways to get that first egg. Um, I want to say maybe the three times earlier when I had posted getting the egg that way, so many people said that they were struggling with it. So use that video guide to get those eggs if you're looking to get your Curse Breaker title taken care of. Get that exotic sparrow. Again, you don't need to have the sword to uh, collect the eggs, but you do need to have the sword with you to complete the Ascendant Challenge. 
If you like something in this video, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. I'm going to be coming up with a guide for the Undying Badge. Make sure you get in that Vex Offensive this week. Make sure you join the Manoverse Discord. Check me out on twitch.tv slash manodestra777. Good hunting, Guardians, and I'll see you next time in the universe of Destiny.